into a delightful capsule of sensual sensations of an endless summer of deep, fulfilling nourishment. The magic that was found in the super blooms by the coast reminded me of how much flowers inspire me. And soaking in this much beauty is absolutely soothing to the soul. Taking the time to admire the yoni-shaped petals, the intoxicating aromas that made me swoon over pillows of flowers, frolicking with wild abandon, feeling deeply into the perfect moments of pure bliss. I dance into the purity of this queendom of sacred beauty, allowing my body to sink into the landscape, allowing this caressing sensation onto my curves, allowing the sun to kiss my skin. This exquisite divinity of being alive, of simply sitting, laying, and dancing in the mysteries of life and this place we get to call home. This next chapter that weaves into this dreamy existence is the nurturing river and neighborhood that I grew up with, a river that has intimately held me as a young girl. How special it is that I can still come to this place year after year, noticing my own growth, as well as the natural changes and adorable magical happenings that are sprinkled throughout the nearby forest. I take the time to admire the artistry of my father. He's an amazing muralist. I sink into the colors and textures so alive in his paintings in my childhood home and feel the deep lineage that I receive from gazing at his artwork. I feed myself healthy and delicious food, smoothies and salads and vegetables and grains, and I love making it pretty so I delight my sight. I love feeding my vessel nourishing food. I take the time to be present with this sweet, beautiful kitty, listening to her sweet purrs, petting her soft fur, and loving her obsession to snuggle. This is Muka.
Wow, it's been such a wild journey and ride, and I am finally get to soak and do some self-care. I know I have a lot of black mascara on my face still from last night's fire dance performance, and I just spent 10 days in such an intimate container with so many beautiful souls and got to play and sing and laugh and dance and I'm just feeling so nourished and fed and also feeling like I need to nurture my body. So I am in the tub, drinking some tea, getting ready to enjoy this evening of rest. And I'm just feeling so grateful to have some goddess time, to have some time with the deities. Ah, sip this cup of tea and know that the nourishment is deeply feeding my mind, body, and soul right now. Although on so many levels, I feel exhausted and tired, but from having my cup be so full. So <sighs> breathing into all those spaces. After a 10 day spell of being immersed in ecstatic dance community, I retreated to the most magical fairy gnome home where I soaked in flowery tubs, processed my experiences, and filmed a sensual dance class next to an epic gong. This whole retreat was unexpected and so nourishing for me while I was on my moon reading about mermaids, drinking cacao, and video editing. I'll leave a link to my dance class above. It's a lovely, gentle flow. It actually eased the cramps that I had. Overall, I felt like I never wanted to leave this magical, fairy-like space.